morning, good evening, good afternoon, depending on wherever you are. And uh, this time again, I have come to declare the word of God to every one of us and to teach us a little bit of a uh, something. Uh, but before I go ahead, I want us to pray. Father Lord, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have your way. Holy Spirit, have your way. Touch the heart of every one of us. Everyone that is under the sound of my voice, Father, touch their heart. As they listen, as they watch, let them receive. Today, as I'm going to treat about healing, Father, let healing come upon everyone. In the mighty name of our Lord, Yeshua. Amen. Brethren, listen. I'm going to be talking about healing. There are different ways of healing. Different way you can assess the healing from God. Different ways, different medium, different method. By faith, all is by faith. So we have healing, you know, through water, healing, also the, through the laying of hands, healing through the anointing, healing through the herbs, you know, the herbs and the seeds which the Lord has given to us. Healing, you know, medically and many other ways. We're going to be treating about this individually, but today I have come to talk about healing, you know, with water, by faith. All things are by faith. I will start by reading a scripture for you in Genesis chapter 1. Genesis chapter 1. And it says, Genesis chapter 1, verse 2, precisely. It says, And the earth was without a form, and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. The Spirit of God, the Spirit of God moved. The Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. This is what happened before He said creation. This is what happened before God said. And when the God of God said, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of waters, Verse 3, now say, God said, let there, be, let there be light. God said, God said, let there be light and there was light. Now hear me, friends, hear me, family, hear me, men, ladies and gentlemen, men and women, hear me, the teenagers, the youth and the kids, hear me. I am here to tell you the importance of water. That is why I'm here. The Lord has come and tell you the importance of water in healing. The spiritual significance, the physical significance of water. Water is very, very important to our lives. Water is very, very important. Water has a spiritual significance. If water has physical significance, there's so much concerning medical and health to our own body and our organ. Now you can imagine about water to our spiritual being, and which is the number one, and which is the major thing. And I'm here to tell you that what is it water is for water like you said what from the beginning of creation there was water god started by creation started his creation by his spirit moving upon the face of waters like we have read in genesis the right in the beginning of the scripture his spirit first of all move upon the face of waters it's upon that the creation that means god knows everything it means how important water is. Just like the science told us that 70% of, of the liquid in our body is made of water. And the science is telling us about, about, about how water is important. What, is a, what, what actually is the benefit of even... I um, want to come around a little bit in the physical part of the water and the medical part of the water. And he said the benefit of drinking water. What does water do to your body? He said water carries nutrients. Okay? And oxygen to your cells. See how much valuable water is. Not only does water do that, uh, water also flush all bacteria from your bladder. It aids digestion. And water also prevents constipation. Do you understand? Water acts as a catalyst to help heal different ailments, which use or applied, you know, in a proper manner. These are all water can do for you medically and even more. So if water can do a lot of things, even bathing and soaking yourself in water, you know, can have many different positive effects on you, on, on, on the people's health. When people bathe or soak themselves in water, it has so many 
so many uh, positive effects on their health depending on the temperature of the water so brethren friends hear me now I have come to tell you the same water the spiritual aspect i have just elaborated a little bit this is just a little bit a chip of the eyeball a chip of the iceberg of just the medical aspect or the or the science aspect of how water works in our own system if water can do as much as this both by bathing water it has a lot and a, a very good positive effect on your health and your body both by soaking yourself in water by drinking water you see how much it can do it carries the oxygen and everything how much more brethren about physical i have here come here today to declare about healing healing there are different kind ways of assessing healing from God I have said and I have mentioned them again I'm repeating through water through uh, by uh, all by faith through water by faith through laying of hands by faith through anointing by faith through the herbs the leaves all by faith and I'm here going to be treating about healing by water like I said before water is life giving hear me my people Hear me, my friends. Water is life-giving. Water is a spiritual force. That is why the Lord, the Spirit, had to move upon the face of water first. And that became a force. Water is a spiritual force. It is life-giving. Now, the force, the spiritual force upon the face of water. <coughs> sorry, I'm sorry. The spiritual force upon water... Is of, of, of which the Spirit of God laid upon and began to create. And he said, and I said that water is life giving. And God began to speak forth life into the void uh, the condition, into, the, uh, into the, 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 the. He began to speak life. And the things, when He began to create, He began to pronounce, let there be light. And there was, this is living. He began to speak at the word of life. He began to speak. He so proved to you about the power of water. He began to also speak to you about the spiritual force of water. Water can do a lot. You see right here, this is water. I will tell you what water can, what water can do concerning your healing. You understand? And I'm, I'm trying to tell you the significance of water. So that then we began, I will now begin to pray, tell you what to do with water. That's why I'm taking my time. I'm explaining right now. As the Lord has commanded me. Now the word of God. Always refer God as a living water. If you go to the book of. <coughs> sorry. The book of Jeremiah. Chapter 2. Verse 13. And also Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 13. Right there you will see where God. You know. Is referred to as a fountain of the living water. So we are talking about the life. That's why I said that water is life giving. And water is a spiritual force. Upon which the lot can be done. So God is being referred to also in New Testament. You're going to find also in New Testament where God is referred to as the living waters. Okay? And in so many other scriptures. So the significance of what this the spiritual significance of water is what I'm connecting to you so that you will understand. Because many people all don't understand about water. They just thought that water is not what we can drink or cook with or bet with. Even though drinking the water, bathing with water, soaking yourself in the water has its own also benefit and positive impact and effect on our own body system and organs and our health. Also, there is another very much powerful spiritual force of water concerning our spirit being, our life in total, our health. And I'm here to speak to you, to tell you the significant of water spiritual significant of water in healing remember i said by saying that i am speaking today i have come to declare today about healing how you can assess this healing from god by faith and the, the healing through water by faith this i talk i'm going to be having this series after series so we can understand because i'm diving into healing because even as i'm speaking right now and every one of you under the sound of my voice, every one of you watching me right now, every one of you hearing my voice as I'm speaking, I decree and I declare that the healing of God come upon your life. Come upon your life. The healing of God come upon your life. And I want to tell you 
that water has a power to heal. I have just a little bit giving us about just mere drinking water medically and health, what it does to our body. And I want to tell you that both spiritual, both physical, water has a power to heal. If you go to the, if you go to a uh, book of uh, Second Kings chapter 5, from verse 1 to 14, it's talking about the story of ne uh, Naaman the, with leprosy. Verse 1 says, Now Naaman, the captain of the host of the king of Syria, was a great man with his master and honorable, because by him the Lord had given deliverance unto Syria. He was also a mighty man of value, a mighty man of value. But, underline this word, but, please, because I'm going to return back to this but. But he was a leper. And that's why I'm here tonight to decree and to declare to every one of you, anything that has stood as a bot in your life today, it is going down. God will clean you up of every bot over your health, just like he did for Haman. And verse 14, I want to digest that. Verse 14 says, then went, then went he down and dipped himself seven times in Jordan. We know about the Jordan, the river Jordan. He dipped himself seven times in Jordan, according to the saying of the man of God. And his flesh came again, like unto the flesh of a little child. And he was clean. And I'm here again to declare to you the, the word of the living God, as the Lord has commanded me. I am here to declare unto you healing of God, as I commanded me. Just as him, Naaman, just like Naaman dipped himself deeply into the into uh, the river Jordan seven times. And the word of God said that he was cleansed and his flesh became like a baby. He was cleansed of leper. As he did that according to the saying of the man of God. So according to as I decree today, hear me as many as under the sound of my voice that is healed. Any kind of sickness, I don't care whatever name is made. Any kind of sickness today as the Lord did for Haman. And as you shall apply this water as I'm going to tell you today. Healing shall come upon you. Deliverance shall come upon you. The Lord shall cleanse you from every pot. You are great. You are beautiful. You are excellent. And there is a pot. You are doing well. Yet there is a pot. Today I am declaring upon your life. Everything that has become a pot. Everything that has become a pot. B-U-T. Everything that has become a pot. They say you are doing well. But you are doing the pot. Sickness is not letting you. Your knees is not letting you. Heart is not letting you. All manner of sicknesses. Today I have come to declare to you. As, he, as Naaman hit, he deep himself into the river seven times. To tell you the power of water. The significant power of water. To tell you the spiritual significance. To prove to you about the spiritual force of water. Naaman was healed as he has obeyed and did according to the servant of God who has commanded to dip himself seven times in the water. Naaman was healed and the word of God said that the Lord cleaned him. He said that his flesh again was made whole and he became clean like a fresh baby. The Lord shall clean you today. The Lord shall clean you from every bot in your life. In the mighty name of Allah Yeshua. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the mighty name of Allah Yeshua. The Lord will cleanse you from every bot in your life. In the mighty name of Allah Yeshua. And I have come to tell you today. Believe me as I speak to you today. According to the word of God. In Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. And God said, let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let him have dominion. Brethren, friends, the Lord is commanding us. He made us in his image, and he commanded us to have dominion over everything, over even up to our health, over all sickness, we have dominion. Today, I decree, so you are meant to have dominion and authority over that situation in your health. That is what I'm here to speak to you. You are meant to have dominion. You are meant to have an authority over that situation in your health. And so shall it be today. Dominion of the Lord, which I give it to you, shall be upon you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And I go ahead and I still tell you that water represents a, 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 a kind of sacred value of life. 
We keep talking about water is life. Water is for healing. Water is for restoration. Water is for pre preservation. Water is everything. And I'm the water represents the sacred value of life. If you understand waters, there are a lot of people because the word of God has told us in both in Old Testament, both in New Testament, the Lord is referred to as a fountain of the living waters. Think about it. The fountain of living water that means you know where it's overflowing of a living water. Well, have you ever asked why is that God is referred as a fountain of a living water? Both in Old Testament, both in New Testament, you will find it a live referred to as the fountain of a living water. God is a living water. And this word of God, I come here today to tell you, the word of God is living. The word of God is yea and amen. The word of God is rhema. The word of God is spirit. The word of God gives lives. And all I'm telling you today about water is according to his word. And that's what I've come here to declare to you today. Water, water has a spiritual dimension. Hear me. He has a spiritual dimension of purification. Yes. Protection. Water also stands for protection. Water also can purify. Water can heal. Brethren, it can heal. In many ways. Not only by drinking it. When there are difficult situations, I am telling you, you can take up the water today. As I've taken it up, I'm going to be praying right now. Wherever you are, and under the sound of my voice, and I'm going to about to pray now, you take up your water. And I want to tell you the power of water. And I want to tell the power of water healing. Whether it's spiritual, whether it is physical. This in my hand, water can do a lot. This in my hand, I am telling you, is for protection. It can protect you. It can purify you. Purify your soul. It can preserve you. It can heal you. There is a force in this water. That is the same force that you see when you go to the ocean, when you go to the sea. You will see when the force comes, you see the water bashing on itself back and forth. It's called high waves. And that is why water also can bring about current. Have you ever asked of you? Have you ever asked yourself how much strength is in water? You come to the chemistry and the physics, you will get it to know and understand the power of water. Water brings about current that can give you light. Like you see the light shining on me. This water can generate light. Have you ever asked? Have you ever asked and think about to understand that the power of water, and I'm telling you the power of water, the spiritual significance, the spiritual force, and the, and, and the water as a healing agent. Therefore, I declare and I declare unto you today, as you hear the voice as I speak, let the Lord touch you because I have come here today to speak to those who are healed. I am speaking to you today. I want you to tell you to be strong. Be strong and do exploit. Be strong and do exploit. Water is very important. Again, water is very, very important. And I have come here to tell you today, like the word of God has said, water is very, very important. Brethren, water is important. As the word of God has told us, water is very, very important. And I'm here to tell you what the water can do. Listen to me, please. Pay attention. For those of you who are here today, after tonight, that sickness will disappear from your body. After tonight, that thing that has stand like a, a mountain before you, which is your health, Today, that health is going to disappear. That sickness that is worrying you, whatever name it is called, today I stand upon the authority and upon the authority in the mighty name of our Lord Yeshua. I stand upon the authority in the word of the Lord. I stand upon the efficacy in the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I decree healing upon you. I declare and I decree healing upon you. Let me tell you, this, you have to do this with faith. Everything you do in life, you must apply faith. Whatever you do according to the word of God, you must apply faith. The word of God is power. And water, he has told us about water. This word of God here has told us about what water is. Spiritually, physically, how much benefit you have from this water. Okay? Have faith because faith moves mountain. Faith moves mountain. Go to Matthew 17, 20. You will understand that faith moves mountain. 
Go to First Corinthians. Go to Corinthians chapter twelve, verse ten. You will understand when the word of God says that when I am weak, then I shall say I am strong. You are strong. Be strong and be courageous. According to the book of Joshua chapter one, verse nine. Be strong and be courageous. Be strong and be courageous. Do not faint. I know that many of you right now, under the sound of my voice, as you watch this, I am telling you, do not faint. When you are weak, tell yourself you are strong. For when they say there's a castle, which I say there's a lifting. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of that sickness. For whatever that has a name, must bow. For the word of God said that, Every mouth shall confess, and every knee must bow at the mention name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Everything that has a name must bow. Their sickness, whatever name it is called, is bowing right now. As you hear me, I decree and I declare it is bowing right now in the mighty name of Yeshua. Thank you, Abba Father. And I want to tell you one thing. This is a paper. Before I go into this prayer, I'm going to show you one thing. You have to live a life of positive. But you have to be positive to yourself. You have to understand and signify meaning. I want to tell you something you have to test and experience today. And you return back to bring the testimony. DM me in my contact. I'm going to leave my link. And all my social media, my contact, the WhatsApp, everything. Please, I need a testimony from this. The Lord wants you to testify after, to after now, after watching this. Try this as I'm saying it. I'm going to do this now before I enter the prayer. Take a paper. Preferably a bottle. Glass bottle, not plastic as I'm holding it. Or even a cup that is glass. Put a water there. Take a piece of paper. Write positive things. Write some affirmations on that paper. Okay? Intentionally. So that the water you're about to drink or you're going to drink the next day, is going to work in your system as you have desired it. The law who grant the desires of the righteous shall grant your desire. Put those, your prayer points, write them on a paper. Write what you want to see, what you want to experience. Write it, say, I want to experience joy, healing upon my body. I want to experience progress, prosperity, brightness. Let the curtains of the Lord shine upon me. Write certain affirmation for yourself, your intentions. And intentionally, this is your prayer point to go. And you take, you take the water, the glass bottle water or the cup. Don't use plastic. This is a water bottle, the plastic. Put it in a bottle, a glass bottle. After writing your affirmations, your certain prayer points, your intentions and your desire, get it and wrap it. Glue it or so the spirit of the living God that move upon the face of water. Let that same spirit enter that water right now in your hand, wherever you are right now, at the four corners of this world, wherever you are watching me from. Let that same spirit of the Lord, I call the spirit of creation, let that power of creation of God, he said the spirit of God move upon the face of water, and then he began creation, he began to command, he said let there be light, and there was light, I therefore decree and declare, as the Lord declared with his mouth, I decree and I declare right now, let the power of creation enter that water in your hand. As it was upon the face of water, the Lord began creation. Let the power of creation enter that water. Let the healing power of God enter that water. Let the covenant blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth enter that water. That water in your hand right now has become the pool of Bethsaida. The miracle of Bethsaida shall work for you. It shall become the water of life. It shall become the healing power of God upon you. It's gonna, it shall become the deliverance power of God upon you. As you drink this water, let it run through your bloodstream. Let it run through your bone marrows. Let it go through your organs. Let it go through your kidneys, your heart, right now. Let it go through your, 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 your blood and your liver. Every organ, your body tissue. Let it go through your skin. You that is having that skin disease right now, you are healed. As you drink this water, it will go through your bloodstream. Let it begin to flush out everything that does not glorify God in you. As you take that water, you that listen under the sound of my voice right now. Let that water in your hand begin to deliver you right now. That water, as you drink it, it shall flow through your bloodstream. It will cleanse your blood. It will purify you right now. 
For the word of God said, every implantation not planned by our Father in heaven shall be rooted out. I command that sickness in your body to root out right now. I command every individual that is going along with you, flowing with what I'm saying now, and having the faith that God has healed him, I decree extant healing. Let there be a miracle of healing upon your body. Right now, every skin cancer, right, I command you disappear. Every creek cancer, I curse your roots. As you drink this water, and then the remaining to wash off a drop on top of your head. Every sickness of all kind that has a name of any name, I don't care what name is given to, cancer right now disappear. Blood disease disappear. Heart issue disappear. Liver problem disappear. Kidney problem disappear. Diabetes disappear. All manner of sickness, I command you the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. For these have become the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth in their hands. As they drink it, let that healing power come upon you right now. Let that healing power upon the wings of God come upon you right now. Receive healing. I decree be healed. Be healed. Friends be healed. People of God be healed. For it is not by power, it is not by power, it is not God. Have faith and be healed. Trust in the Lord thy God. And be healed. Be healed. Be healed. You that leg pain right now. I command you right now, disappear. You that have the new pain right now, I command healing upon you. I command healing upon you right now. Jump up, stand up and start jumping and that's right now. You will suddenly notice that you are healed. 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 Abba Father, thank you. I declare restoration upon them right now. As many under the sound of my voice, restoration, restoration. Let the power of bread to work for the power of your glory right now. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Abba Father. It is done and it is settled. Brethren, it is done and it is settled. That is the word of God. According to his word in Revelation, chapter 21. It is done and it is settled. For I am the Alpha and the Omega. It is done and it is settled. For I am the Alpha and the Omega. It is done and it is settled. For I am the Alpha and the Omega. The beginning and all things. Hear me. It is done. It is settled. Right now, healing is coming upon you. The word of God said in Revelation 21. It will say that. And God shall wipe away all tears from your eyes. Hear me. Praise God, brethren. Praise God, gentlemen and ladies. Praise God, ladies and gentlemen. Praise God, people of God. For your weeping comes to an end today, right now. As you practice what I have just taught you, healing has come upon you and weeping has come to an end. Weep no more. Weep no more. For the Lord said, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, and the first and the last. He said, this word has spoken, they are true and they are faithful. In Revelation 21. Therefore, the Lord who has done a good work in you will perfect it today as thou have taken note and as thou are going to be obedient to the word of the Lord. Obedient to observe all that has been taught to you. Obedient. Let the Lord give you grace of understanding, grace of faith. I decree this and let the spirit of faith enter you because faith is not the spirit. And so shall it be. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And on this note, I pray for salvation. If you don't know the Lord, you don't receive Jesus Christ of Nazareth as your Lord and personal Savior. Today and right now, receive Him. Receive Him. You shall believe in your heart that He has come down here on earth, that He died and resurrected. And you shall confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord. Therefore, you are saved. Thank you, Lord. For every one of you that have made this prayer, I am telling you from now to the next three months, you will not know yourself again. You will understand that truly that the Spirit of God has entered you. Because when you come to God and receive Christ, what He does, He takes away the, the, the carnal spirit, the what is the Adamic spirit, and He put it to you, the right spirit which He created, which He created in His own image, and the, which is Holy Ghost, and the Holy Spirit will get to work on you. Thank you, Abba Father. It is done and it is settled. Be healed. Be healed and be healed. 
In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. Come and check me up. Again, other series, but then this healing, I'm going to be taking it stage by stage. Okay? You will see my link and you will see my contact. Reach out to me. Bring the testimony. You need prayers. You need counseling. Reach out to me, dear me, and I will attend to you. Thank you and God bless you.